Welcome again to another edition of Page Cloud 101. Again, I'm your host, JP Emery with ClearKey.io. And today what we're going to talk about is a custom widget. Uh, this custom widget is custom widgets are used for displaying third-party content within Page Cloud. And the implementation we're going to be doing today is for testimonials. So we'll be um, sourcing back testimonial data that is going to display within a custom element on PageCloud. Here on this page we see the, um, the actual code that we're going to be copying. Um, this is on the forum, so let's just go and dive right in. Going over to the PageCloud page, this website that we're implementing it on, you can go and view it. This is clearkey.pagecloud.com slash tutorial. And so the first thing what we need to do is we need an element to customize. How we start is first just click the um, just generic square element. Then next, what you're going to want to do is to make it transparent when you actually implement it. But for now, we're going to leave it at, leave it with a fill so we know where it is, so we can see kind of how it's going to implement. The next thing you do is you right click on it, hit inspect. It's going to bring up the developer tools, the Chrome developer tools. And it's going to be under um, a class called Object UI Draggable Selected. You'll want to drop that down. And underneath it, it's going to have a class that says Selection Wrapper. Which next, what you do is right click on Selection Wrapper, go up to Edit HTML. And that's going to bring in an inline editor. Now, all of this looks important, and for the most part, it is when you're not using it. So, but we don't want to use it right now. So, we're going to delete it, and then we're going to copy and paste the code we looked at earlier for the testimonial service, that third-party service. And so, we're just going to go over to this text box, and I'm going to copy it. Go and click on it again and hit edit HTML. And so we want this code to go inside of object UI draggable. And so we paste it in. This is the code we're needing. And so now we just click off. Click off onto, some, onto something else. And so we can still select the object, we can still move it around, and we can still resize it. This is important. So now I'm going to close the developer tools, and I'm going to hit save. Now we're going to go view live. And as you see, it's loading data. But it looks kind of bad because everything's wrapping in and on itself. This brings up a very important point that the parameters of your initial element when you save it are going to be the constraints for the widget. So the element that you're creating must be the width or the height, that must have the exact and or height that you're, what of the information that you're going to be showing your customers. You're not going to see it in the PageCloud editor, but PageCloud's really fast. And so the same way we just saved it and loaded it, you'll be able to test it out and figure out what positioning is right based on how much data is loaded and based on what um, the parameters are that that third party needs. 
So some third-party implementations of this could be an ad network. So you could put you could put custom ad code into like a banner that on the side or on the top that will display an ad based on that um, ad network's parameters. And you won't see it in the editor, but when the ad network loads, you'll see an ad. The same way here with these testimonials. We want these testimonials to look better though. So we're going to go over to PageCloud again, and we're going to resize it, AWAL, and you'll notice the height doesn't really matter. It's still going to, like I'm not changing the height, I'm just changing the width. With this widget, with this third-party service, it looks like only the width really matters. The, the height is negligible, it's always going to display however, however tall it needs to be. So we're going to save it. And so here we see the testimonials. These are just random pre generated things. In the back, we can see the element that we created, and it only has it has its same height. Now it only goes over to the edges. So it's not really, it doesn't really make too much sense to use that as its background. So when you're actually implementing it, make it um, transparent and then just put your own background behind it. And your own background can be whatever color you want and it can actually extend beyond. So to show you what I mean, we'll go in and we're just going to make this a little smaller create another element make it wider make it a different color and make that transparent. Now, grouping them together, go to Arrange and then Group, hit Save, again View Live. And look at that. And it's, and it's not perfect, but you, you figure out how long the elements are going to generate and uh, just make your background the same length, the same, the same height. And, but, you know, but you notice it looks a lot better. And when you click on this add testimonial thing, it generates something so you can create a new testimonial. So it's a pretty cool service. You just need to kind of figure out how you want it to display on your page and customize it as such. Okay. So I'll go ahead and leave, I'll, I'll make this a little bit more polished and I'll leave it up on the site for you guys to check out. Again, this is JP Emery with ClearKey.io and thank you for watching.